In an era where everyone has been talking about automation and how automation has changed the dynamics of the world, UiPath has played a key role in the field of robotic process automation. By being a key leader in the RPA market, it has increased the number of opportunities for people to learn and use UiPath in their day-to-day tasks. Hi all, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about UiPath careers. So let's take a look at the agenda for this session. So we are going to start with the session with introduction to UiPath and then we will discuss the job trends in UiPath. Later on, we will discuss the different job profiles available in UiPath. And after that, we will discuss the skills required to become an RPA professional. Moving further, we will discuss the salaries varying according to job profiles and locations. And finally, we will end this discussion with a list of companies hiring professionals skilled in UiPath. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And if you are looking for an online training certification program, the link is given in the description box below. On that note, let us start with the first topic for today's session. So what exactly is UiPath? UiPath is a robotic process automation tool that is used to automate repetitive or redundant tasks and aims to eliminate human intervention. So this tool basically consists of a drag and drop functionality of activities and offers a community edition which is free for lifetime. It also offers enterprise edition which is a paid version. So if you wish to learn UiPath, I would suggest you download the community edition and practice how to automate tasks and then you can download the enterprise edition. Now if you want a detailed explanation of what exactly is UiPath, then you can refer to our session on what is UiPath. We have a full detailed session on what exactly is UiPath and all the functionalities that comes with it in a detailed tutorial on our YouTube channel. And now that you have an idea about UiPath, let me give you an idea about the market trends of UiPath and according to Forest Wave, UiPath has been named the leader with highest possibility scores in strategy and market presence. And not only this, but UiPath ranks number one in fastest growing company in North America according to Deloitte 2019 Technology Fast 500. And now that you know UiPath, what exactly it is and uh, the market trends as well, let us understand how to build a career by learning UiPath. So let us begin by understanding the job trends in UiPath. So we have this trends in the form of a graph from itjobswatch.uk. So we have job posting citing UiPath as a percentage of all IT jobs advertised. And we have the permanent and contract and we have all the jobs inside this graph. As you can see on my screen, the job vacancies are continuously increasing for professionals who know UiPath. And one of the most popular job profiles in this field is that of an RPA UiPath developer. So it is quite evident that the career opportunities in this field will only shoot through the roof. And as both startups and well-established companies require professionals who can actually automate simple to complex tasks. And now that you know the job vacancies available for professionals who actually know UiPath, let us look into the different job profiles related to this field. So I've listed down a few job profiles for you guys. So the top job profiles related to UiPath are, as you can see on my screen, starting with RPA process analyst. An RPA process analyst is responsible for analyzing pre-existing processes that can be enhanced by RPA and evaluate workflows to improve efficiency and they have to develop plans to implement the changes suggested and document the same as well. Next up, we have RPA UiPath developer. So basically an RPA UiPath developer is responsible to design, develop and deploy RPA solutions. By configuring processes, they're going to do this task and they must be able to build effective workflows to improve the efficiency of the processes and they should be able to easily maintain it as well. And after RPA UiPath developer, we have automation engineer or developer. So they're basically responsible for monitoring and tracking the ROI for each and every solution and further establish processes to continuously monitor the solutions and upgrade them. Next up, we have senior RPA UiPath developer responsible to achieve the targets and propose an automation designs according to the client requirements. So with the hands-on knowledge on UiPath, he or she shall be a core part of the team delivering automation solutions to the clients. And after that, we have an RPA UiPath lead. So they must be able to have hands-on experience in UiPath and uh, with an idea about the other web development technologies as well. They will be responsible to understand the client requirements and also determine architectural needs for the solutions proposed. 
Finally, we have RPA, UiPath Solution Architect. So they are basically responsible for providing business requirements, architect and design solutions by using the top trending technologies. So they must also ensure that the development teams understand the design suggested and implement the automation workflow design. So now that you actually know the different job profiles you can start your career in, next in this session is we're going to understand the skills required for these roles. So let's take a look at those. So a professional looking for opportunities in the field of RPA must be able to understand the client's requirements. They have to design the automation based on the requirements and the IT standards as well. So some of the common skills required are, as you can see on my screen, so you need hands-on experience in top RPA tools like UiPath, Blue Prism, and Automation Anywhere. And if you are looking only on focusing on grabbing a career in UiPath, then you need to know everything about the tool. You will require strong problem solving and analytical skills to understand the client requirements and create an automation task. So there must be constant communication with other business partners to develop and deploy their ideas. Also ensure that there is a clear establishment of what can be created within the time frame and what are the requirements as well. Then we have a good knowledge of uh, an RPA lifecycle is required and you should know how you can produce automation is going to be expected so that you understand the complete process of bot development. Having exposure to SQL databases will be a plus point for you as you will be easily able to query the required data related to bots deployed. Apart from this, you must also know how to design technical specification documents for RPA projects to create the project related documents for every task that you work on. And you must have an experience with analysis, design and implementation of the process. Also, an RPA developer must have the skills to understand business and technical requirements. You should be proficient enough in coding skills such as .NET, C Sharp and VB scripting where that will help you understand how the automation is designed from the backend as all the tools are built on these frameworks. And a basic understanding of Lean Six Sigma process methodologies would be beneficial and certifications such as ITIL, TOGAF, COBIT, PMP, PRINCE2, Lean Sigma will add on to your team management. All right, so now that you know the skills required to start your career in RPA, let me just take you through the skills you must learn specifically in UiPath. The master yourself in UiPath and grab an opportunity in UiPath, you must acquire the skills which you can see on my screen. So basically, you are required to have a basic understanding of the UiPath platform and its various components. You should have an hands-on experience in the different activities used to automate tasks and you must record, scrape data and integrate these activities with the corresponding applications. You should be able to perform data manipulation and PDF automation. There is going to be a required skill for performing automation on virtual machines, Citric platforms, and you must have text values, images, etc. A good hands-on experience in debugging the RPA projects is a must. And then understanding the RE framework template in UiPath for creating business processes is also a add-on. So next in this session, let us discuss the salary trend for the various job roles based on various factors. So let us start with the salaries varying according to job profiles. So first of all, we're going to take a look at salaries according to the job profiles. So according to indeed.com, the salaries of different job profiles in India are, as you can see on the screen. So for a RPA process analyst, it's around 5.7 lakhs a year, which is an expected salary average, or you can call it an average salary for a RPA process analyst. For a RPA UiPath developer, it's around 5.5 lakhs. An automation engineer or developer, it's 5.9 lakhs. And then you have senior RPA UiPath developer having an expected salary for 7.6 lakhs. And then you have RPA UiPath lead who is going to actually earn 9.9, .9, close to a million rupees a year. And then we have RPA UiPath solutions architect who's gonna earn a little more than a million, which is 1.2 million rupees a year. So according to indeed.com, so the salaries of different job profiles in United States are going to be these that you can see on my screen as well. So for a RPA process analyst, it looks good for a starting salary or basically an average salary, let's say, is $75,000 a year. For an RPA UiPath developer, it's close to $80,000 a year. And then we have for automation engineer or developer, a good $90,000 a year. And for a senior RPA UiPath developer, it is closer to $92,000 a year. And then we have for RPA UiPath lead, it's close to $125,000 a year. And for RPA UiPath Solutions Architecture, it is closer to $140,000 a year. So this is quite promising for 
anyone who's looking to make a career in UiPath, guys. So next, let us take into the salaries varying according to the locations as well. So I'm listing down the average salary of UiPath developer based on locations. So in India, we have like these locations, we have Bengaluru, we have Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, and Mumbai. So expected salary is around in Bangalore, it's going to be 7.8 lakhs a year. And then in Hyderabad, it's going to be closer to 7 lakhs. In Pune, it's closer to 6 lakhs. Chennai, it is closer to 5.7 lakhs a year. And in Mumbai, we have 6 lakhs per annum. And if we take a look at UiPath developer in US, so in New York, you're going to get paid around $96,000 a year. Same for the same job profile. And if you're working in Washington, D.C., you can expect a $91,000 a year. For Chicago, it becomes quite higher, goes to $103,000 a year. And for Atlanta and Seattle, it is almost the same with $99,000 and $98,000 a year. So finally, let us look into the company's hiring professionals who actually know UiPath. So this is for those who actually have experience working as a UiPath developer. So who are all these companies that are hiring? So the company's hiring professionals who know UiPath are as follows, which is IBM, Deloitte, we have Billasoft, Federal Bank, Paradise, DHL Cognizant, Max Healthcare, and so on. So with this, guys, we have come to the end of the session. And if you are someone who is looking to switch your career or start your career in robotic process automation, then UiPath is the perfect choice to go forward with. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this session and understood how to build and boost your career by learning UiPath. If you have any further queries related to the session, please comment down in the comment section below and we'll get to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials. Also press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And if you're looking for a certification in UiPath, the link is given in the description box below. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!